My grandfather was a firefighter and my grandmother was also involved with the firehouse in Red Bank. And I, I feel that um, I'm at a point in my life that I can't commit to being a firefighter or a medic yet. And, but I, we rely so heavily on them. And I, I feel guilty that I can't participate, that I can't volunteer or give my time. I'm a barber, I can't give much. But what I can do is help start an organization with the help of the community to raise money for, for first responders. What we really wanted to accomplish with the razor was to be something that when someone holds in their hand, that they could feel that it's quality. It's not cheap, it's not plastic, it's not gonna fall apart or break. Uh, you're not gonna get just one shave out of it, but you can get several shaves, if not a couple weeks worth of a shave. This is really nice. It's comfortable in the hand and it's got that nice trimming blade back there. And nice handle. Yeah, feels good. It, it shapes to your, your face, your neck. And it's nice, you know, it does, doesn't snag. I think this is something me, my family, and everybody I know would be very interested in using. I think this would be a great way. I mean, some people don't just like handing out money, but they can hand out money and get something useful in return. For a volunteer fire company, um, we rely solely on, on, on um, funds from the community and any donations or funds that donate to us to help us buy gear, life-saving equipment for us, it goes a long way. Anything that helps the emergency services of this nation is a great thing. Please consider supporting this organization. We did a, a lot of work, we put a lot of hours into finding a really good quality razor for everyone to use, and profits from every razor sold helps first responders in your community around the country.